Hello Virgo. As always, this is a general reading for a large audience. So you will likely find that, you know, the whole thing doesn't resonate or only a small part does. When I prepare, I do pray I ask that each of you receives at least one message. And for everyone that watches these, bear with them. The messages get longer and longer. I was joking with a friend that I maybe should have to shift my prayer a little bit <laughs> instead of saying that everyone gets at least one message, change it to something else. But I'm not going to do it this, that at this time because I'm really honored and glad that I can use these gifts that have opened up. If you're new to the channel, I only work with God, Jesus, and the angels, and I hear Jesus and the angels talk to me. So I'm going to continue forging forward with long readings <laughs> to use that gift because um, I, I know if you're listening to these, you're at a point in your life that you need some assistance and guidance. So I'm going to do whatever it is that I can to help get you some, hopefully some information to assist with your journey. So let's go ahead and get started. Situation one up here we have the first card is three and it says rejoice in celebration the next card is education it's 35 and then the last card is change and transition archangel azrael and then it says thank you azrael for leading me safely through this change so situation one so this first card that we have up here you know the situation is celebration i mean you see these three people they're they're toasting they're celebrating something it's you know a signifier that it's at a time of you know merriment celebration success you know achieving something huge there's, there's a trophy here a victory it's something that fills your heart you know it, it would fill your heart with joy fills your heart with joy you know there's that excitement and you can feel that you know that energy bubbling over and it's just they're saying it's um a celebration for all the for all the hard work they're saying for some of you it's it's for a small number of you this is like a, a business business work related for the majority of you though this is um love related but they're saying you think you have something to celebrate but it's not okay next card is education it's 35. you know it's it's a card that depicts you know that you know life is filled with lessons which would explain why they were saying you think you have something to celebrate so life is life is less than, life is just filled with lessons. A lot of people call Earth Earth School, but it is. It's filled with lessons. So we have to be teachable, and you know we get wisdom from participating in things, not just you know. In this, she's reading a book, so participating, not just reading about, thinking about, daydreaming about. So typically, you know, typically this this, this card is talking about not having enough information. So you know you're contemplating a decision. You're contemplating a direction. You're analyzing your circumstances, but you don't have enough information yet. You've not received enough of the details, but more information will soon be coming to you if it hasn't just recently. They're saying for some of you, it's, it, it's unexpected, unexpected news, unexpected information. They're also saying a, a lesson, an unexpected lesson, but they're saying to be teachable, receive that information because for some of you, for all of you in this situation, whether it's love or work, they've been trying to transform your life to get you to where you're meant to be. So for the largest number of you, this is love related, but this is a lesson you should have already learned in order to move forward and transform to get into um, those blessings, which is why they were initially, they were saying it's something that um, you think is worth celebrating but it's not so what they're saying is for a large number of you you have this this person that has repeatedly lied to you cheated on you stolen from you put you in bad situations deceived you because they were using you for whatever for whatever reason it could have been money it could have been sex could have been comfort but they were they were using you and for some of you they were using you and playing you while they had a third party involved and they kept playing these games, pulling you in and deceiving you. It was a lesson for you to learn so that you could move forward and move forward. Um, he's got like the phoenix in his chest. So you could be like the phoenix rising and move toward a future with uh, a love that you're meant to be with. Someone who will have, um, will love you and feel the same versus this unrequited love that you've had. But you keep, you keep going back to the person. And the vicious cycles happen. They're saying the vicious cycle, it's happening again. And you're thinking, great, I get to celebrate with this person, but all they're going to do is hurt you again like they have before. You have to free yourself from this. For some of you, they're saying it's um, like a business, a business venture, a financial matter, financial partnership. Or okay, you think you've got this new deal with them again. They're working things out. Either they're going to financially back you, you're going to financially back them. It's going to be financially beneficial, rewarding. So you think, okay, great, we're back on track. 
but this person has burnt you before and you've not learned your lesson in order to move forward and, and you haven't done those changes to free yourself to let that person go it's going to get you're going to get burnt again they're saying so they're trying to keep that from happening because they're saying some of you is um, stubborn they keep saying stubbornly aren't learning that lesson yet, aren't letting go aren't moving forward aren't realizing that um you know this is not the person for you to be in a relationship with or this is not a person for you to be involved with at all financially your best interests are not anything they care about and you're helping by um, self-sabotage by continuing to allow that and they're saying it's being challenged it's a challenging thing because of emotions so this card you have green it's they're saying it is matters of the heart so it's this so for those of you it's a financial business thing i mean you have had your heart set on this you've um, been looking forward to this for those of you that this is love you've you've really hoped that it would work with that person and although you've had this really bumpy road with them and you've had all these changes they're saying that the changes and everything that's happened have been trying to force you to finally cut any and all ties with that person but you have not you've not let it go you've not let that person go so in the meantime since you've been resistant to that change, stubbornly holding on to that person, holding, and also um, they're saying for some of you holding on to that that hurt, but you've been holding on to that, so so it's made it even more difficult because change change in and of itself it, it's always difficult for everyone and it can be very challenging, but change is natural. We, we don't we don't naturally like change. We don't enjoy change, but in order for us to grow, in order for us to develop, evolve, to get to the places that we're meant to be to have a love of a lifetime, to have a, a business venture, a financial venture that is flourishing and very financially rewarding, we, we have to evolve, we have to change, we have to learn from the things that didn't work for us. And they're saying that right now, so this card Archangel Azrael, right now, this is especially challenging time for you, it's especially challenging time of change for you because you're fighting it. They're saying that, that you have to stop fighting it. These changes are actually supporting you, your best interest. They are actually meant to bring blessings into your life. But they're saying many of you are holding on because you're, you are just so filled with fear of not knowing what the next step is, not knowing what the next stage is. Afraid that, okay, well, if I go down a path that's unknown, is someone else going to hurt me the same way she or he did? Are they going to burn me as, as badly as they did? But they're trying to open up these doors. For some of you, you already have the doors opened and you know that. So for some of you, they've brought a new love interest in. For some of you, you have a new potential financial business partner. But you, because you're not letting go, you've not allowed yourself to let this person go, this energy go, you're not able to get to where your real celebration is. So Archangel Azrael there is there to help you. You know, he's the angel who helps God. He's the angel who will help you you know, move through this transition smoothly, successfully, and as pain-free as possible. I mean, all, all, all changes are challenging, but it can go smoothly. And they're saying that, that you've been given so many signs, but you just are fighting it. You're just fighting it tooth and nail, and it's just, it's making it harder for you. And they're pointing out the red that's surrounding him, and they're saying it's because of fear, it's because of anger. That you need to let those things go. And, and, they, and they're pointing out that, that Phoenix, again, in the middle of his chest. So they are trying to, and he is trying to assist you, and all the angels are trying to assist you in helping you rise from these ashes, rise from these challenges in order for you to be reborn, be in a new place, a new life, a new beginning, new love, new business, new, um, a new place financially than you've been. But you've, you've, you've got to let that, that person go. And no matter what the situation is, it's a person. It's a person that you're romantically involved with, a person that you were financially involved with, um, business matters involved with. But you gotta let them go. Okay. Now, let's pull some Lenormans. <laughs> okay. So I'm pulling some Lenormans. See if they're gonna give us any more clarity. Okay. And they're saying this is um, past, present, future. So we have past is ship. And if you can read it, it says a ship carrying gold sails straight into view. Lined in its hold are fortunes for you. If you should travel with a special friend, memories unfurl for years upon end. And then we have garden. The garden's retreat to a party you'll go. New friends will arrive and romance will flow. Life's to be enjoyed with nature all around. And the sitting beauty and peace abound. Let's see here. And the last one we have is scythe. 
The scythe cuts bare, danger stalks too. Of strangers beware, they can harm you. If nearby cards hold favorable view, with swift action you'll overcome too. So, and then they told me to grab the card that was on the bottom of the deck, and cross was on the bottom of the deck. And it says, a, a cross weaves pain historically sad. A distance too close means tidings are bad. Suffering increases when the cross is near, but burdens can lift if you persevere. So, this situation, you thought your ship had sailed. You thought your opportunity with this person, this business venture, this love, you thought it had sailed. But they have come back, which is why you think um, you finally had success. There's finally going to be a victory. But there's not because you're going to get burned again. You're going to get hurt again. You're going to have your heart hurt again. You're going to have your finances hurt again. Because you have to learn that lesson and let go. Be open for the change and the transformation. Be open to the blessings they're trying to bring you. They're saying a number of you already know what those blessings are, but you're fighting that as well. They're saying some of you are fighting that because you're afraid that you're going to get hurt again, but, but you have to stop fighting. You have to let this person go. They're saying it is a person, be it financially involved, romantically involved, but you have to let that go because if not, you'll continue your sadness. You'll continue to suffer. But they're saying that by letting go that you know you be able to re release those burdens they're saying it is watched over by the divine. They are helping you, but you need to uh, get out of the way and let them help you. Because you'll find it's really easy. If you step back and just let them take um, take the steering wheel, it'll get a lot easier for you. And trust. Um, they're saying that there's been a lot of guidance, signs, a lot of information trying to get you in the direction you're meant to go. It's just the challenge is for you to trust it, believe it, let go so you can move forward. Now, for those of you in situation two, you have new beginnings. And then you have 41, which is unexpected visitors. You have the talisman, 49. And then at the very end, you have count your blessings. And at the bottom, it says, thank you, universe and angels, for the blessings in my life. So for those of you in situation two, you have this, this, this opportunity for a new beginning. And they're saying it's the opportunity of a lifetime. Everything that you've desired, the world, the world is there. All of your, your hopes, your dreams, everything that you want is there. But you have to take, if you can see she's taking a step forward, you have to take that first step in order to uh, begin that journey. And it's, it's going to require taking a leap of faith because you do have this, this adventure of a lifetime. It's a balanced divine love for some of you. Oh, perfect. They're saying perfectly complimentary, requited, deep. Uh, loyal, faithful love. But it's about home and it's about foundation. And they're saying that you've had to go through tremendous change in order to get this place. So for those of you that are about to embark on this new beginning, you've done a lot of healing. You've, you've had a lot of changes happen in your life. You've had a lot of changes that keep also nudging you and pushing you forward in this direction. But it's you're, you're, they're saying you're slightly fearful taking the step in that direction. So they're trying to help you muster up the courage, that trust, that faith, so that you can take that leap forward into the unknown. But again, it, it's, it's about change. You know, this is, it's, it's a change. It's moving forward with someone new. It's moving forward with um, a new situation. Although I get for most, it's, it's, a, it's a love, it's a home, it's a family-based situation. But you're afraid of moving forward. So instead of taking that step, you're tr you're, they're saying many of you are playing it safe. And just staying stuck where you're at. And, and they're saying you're stuck where you're at because you're not happy at all. But you have all this intuitive information, this inner knowing, this guidance, dreams that you're having, synchronicities, signs. All these things, you know, they are trying to propel you forward into this life-changing blessing. This path where you're meant to be. So they're saying, so this card in traditional tarot, is, it, it's like the fool card, which is someone being stuck because they're not making a decision. They're not taking that leap of faith. They're not taking action. So because they're fearful, not trusting. They're saying trust. What you have before you really is a blessing. It's a blessing from God. All you have to do is take that step forward. Be like a child with fresh eyes. You know, don't let things that have happened to you in the past keep you from going forward to what you're meant to do, whom you're meant to be with. Um, if someone has wronged you in the past and you have this love of a lifetime in front of you, don't hesitate moving forward with them because you're fearful they're gonna do the same thing someone else has done in the past because they're not. 
um, or fearful because of things that you're afraid you may do or not do. Because they're saying for a number of you, you, you want to, yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's based on love, it's based on family, it's based on home. So you want to get married. You want to have a family. You, um, you have these hopes, these dreams, these desires. They are at your fingertips. And you could have everything you want. Like you could, a year from now, be holding that child you desire and want. But it hinges off of you taking a step forward. Because they're saying that's where you're at now. The healing's done. Everything's done. You just have to take that step. Now, the two cards that we have here, the, the first one and these, when I was shuffling, they came out together. And the first one, it's unexpected visitors. And, you know, life is filled with changes, detours, shifts. Um, something unexpected comes up all the time. You know, it can be a surprise change of events, surprising information, a surprising new path. But when it comes to something that is fated, something that is destined for us, no amount of planning that we do is going to keep that from happening or they're, they're saying synchronicity. So because for a number of you there, you have a lot of signs because they have been trying so hard to get you to move forward. They have just been bombarding you with signs that yes, this is what you're supposed to do. This is your next step. But you've been hesitant to do that. But it's like this, these synchronistic signs are just overwhelming because that step you're supposed to be taking is what's taking you to where you're destined to be what you're fated to be doing, whom you're fated to be with. And for some of you, they're saying it was it was a surprise. This was not something you planned for. It was unexpected. So for some of you, you've met this love of a lifetime and it was unexpected that this person's come into your life. For some of you, uh, um, unexpected because th they're pointing out this mouse and and like when you use the Norman cards, you know, mice talk about someone eating away at your treasures, taking your treasures. So it's almost like, they're saying that you had someone who you thought was the person you were meant to be with, but something unexpected happened with that person. You got unexpected news, information, and, and had to let that person go to move forward to where you're destined to be. And they're saying for some, some of you, those unexpected changes and things were lessons guiding you on the right path because the next card, it's the um, talisman, and it shows this figure, you know, she's walking along a path and she's guided. She has the yin yang symbol in front of her, she has this blue ball and she's she's being guided forward and it's and it's talking about you know truly learning the lesson getting the wisdom that we need in order to move forward and, and successfully move forward you know being able to take the things from the past that we've learned and and use that information to keep us from falling into any you know traps any situations that we have fallen into in the past you know, also it talks about being able to, you know, quickly gather information when you're going on your journey. Because we have this blue color and it speaks of communication. So being able to quickly recognize that, get that information, utilize that um, to get to the quickest, um, quickest routes to your destination. So they're saying that, you know, you are at this place now that, that you can make the right choices. You, you know, you've learned, you've learned your lessons, you know the best choices to make for yourself you won't make a mistake. They're saying a number of you, you're so terrified of making a mistake that you're not, that you're not taking that step forward. But you, you can't make a mistake. They, they truly are helping you. They do have what's best for you. It's going to be successful. Great fortune blessings await you. You do have the wisdom to make the right choice. They, they keep saying you, you, have to, you have to travel down that road and make that choice. Use the wisdom that you've gained from the lessons you've learned because you will be successful. But they're saying some of you are familiar because like if this card was reversed, it would talk about, you know, not doing things that are repeated negative patterns. So, you know, patterns, things that you have done in your, in your life. So they're saying some of you are afraid to take this step forward because it's going down a path that you've been down before where you were burnt and hurt and it, it feels familiar, which is why you're fearful of going down it. So say you've got this new opportunity for the love of a lifetime, this person that you're meant to be with, huge blessing to have them. You're getting all these signs and synchronicities to move forward with them because then a year from now, two years from now, you could have this, you could have a child, children, be married, have all these things that you desire. Um, they also keep saying fin financial abundance. So for some of you, there's a lot of financial abundance with this person or that will come with this person that you aren't aware of. 
but you've been hurt deeply in the past by someone before you you took you took the leap of they're saying for some of you you had this love that was like a soulmate in the past someone who was for many of you just supposed to be a lesson and you jumped in both feet right away with that person and you had unexpectedly this rug pulled from underneath your feet and you were hurt badly by that person so you're afraid to move down the path with this new person because you it feels familiar you're you're ready to jump in both feet but you're afraid of okay what if what if you know he or she's just like the last one i was with what if they're going to hurt me what if i'm going to make the same mistakes and lose everything when i've when i've jumped in and given everything i've got to it but they're saying to not be fearful of that because they're helping you they're guiding you they have brought a blessing in for you if you look at the last card it's count your blessings at the bottom it says thank you universe and angels for the blessings in my life so they're encouraging you to see see the blessing the blessings in your current situation and keep yourself focused with positivity keep yourself focused on being aligned with you know loving experiences and trust and hope and faith and that divine guidance that you're getting because that that's what's going to be leading you to where you're meant to be they're saying you don't realize what you have this opportunity they're, they're saying this opportunity that you have you don't realize what exactly it is that you have in front of you a, a blessing that you couldn't you couldn't ever imagine um yeah they're saying you really have no idea how good this is what a blessing this is because you're so terrified of taking that step because they're saying that um so for some of you you have this person. You've done a lot of healing. You've let a lot of things go. You're ready to move forward with that person. But you are so afraid that that person's going to hurt you like someone has in the past that was mean and cruel and angry. That person had a lot of anger. Um, they, they treated you wrongly, cruelly. There could have been verbal abuse, physical abuse, used you, lied to you, cheated on you. But it started out well. You thought that this was the person for you. You jumped all in. And it all and all came crashing down so now you do have this person in front of you that is the gift the blessing that you've been praying for and asking for and hoping for and now you've got it in front of you you've got that person in front of you but you're not taking this step forward because you're afraid what if they're going to be like that person what if things are going to turn out like that but they're saying if you take that leap of faith you're going to have this marriage that you desire you're going to have a child multiple children you're gonna have this family that you don't deep desire you're gonna have compassionate love caring love they say they're your your perfect compliment your perfect partner which actually if you look it's blown up right there so, so we're gonna be looking at that soon but it's, that's right underneath her feet they're perfect for you and they're gonna bring you abundance in all areas financially happiness joy bliss family and you have no idea and they're saying that out of fear you're you are ignoring that um, they're saying for some of you you're actually going in the opposite direction when you've got it, it they're saying it's actually it's it truly is a gift from god and you have no idea you have a lot of signs you're just not trusting so listen to the signs take the leap of faith because you can't go wrong and those of you in the situation you know because they're saying that you've you've just been bombarded with signs and synchronicity so situation three fertility now oh actually they want to pull some of these real quick okay so <laughs> well played okay so the first card and this is to get some additional information blue lenormans for situation two we have road a road in the open reveals the best way choose wisely your path to avoid any dismay follow your dreams with faith and precision all will be clear once you've made your decision and then we have house and blue lenormans just like the angel answers i, I shuffled those beforehand but we'll flip those over one at a time as we go we have house a stately house beyond the gate bestows stability upon your fate and love and play your chance to win depends on how you first begin and then the last card is dog man's best friend faithful and true his soul he'd lend and trust to you a pat on the head delights the old boy and rewards you with greater and rewards you greater with loyalty and joy sorry there is a glare from my angle with those cards. They are very difficult to read. Hopefully you guys can read them. This, they're saying is overarching. It is about love. Um, you are at the point that you have to make a decision about matters of the heart, your home, your stability, your foundation with someone, but you're fearful that, uh, you're fearful that this person's gonna be like a person from the past. 
but they're not because they are loyal. They are loving and they'll bring you joy, which they're saying is the complete opposite of where you've come from. So you're fearful that this really can't be, um, it's, you think it's too good to be true. And again, it comes back to, you have no idea this gift from God that you have before you. All you have to do is make the decision to step forward. Because they're saying, just take that step forward and, and your life is going to be completely different. It's going to be completely different. When you look back a year from now, two years from now, it's going to be completely different in a good way. <laughs> You'll finally be in that place of happiness that you desire. Situation three, fertility. We have, and then we have Dragon's Lair, and then the last card is Synchronicity. So they're saying for some of you that are in this situation, you've healed your heart, you, um, you're ready to give, give birth to your, to your dreams, to your hopes, to your dreams. And for some of you, you are ready to build your family tree. <laughs> you are ready to start that. But you've planted, you've planted all the seeds, you've done all the preparation, you've done all the, the healing work that you need to do but you just need to be patient at this time. Continue, so you know, you've, you've planted these seeds, you, you know, you've, you've got the beginning growth. So just continue to nurture, nurture those things. They're saying nurture those things because don't, don't close your heart and thinking this isn't, this isn't going to happen. Open yourself to this blessing. Open yourself to these things that are coming in. They're saying trust the signs that you're getting. And don't be fearful. So this card in traditional tarot, it's, it's the Empress. And so they're saying for some of you in this situation, you know, you, you, you have this, this blessing, this gift, which is interesting because it's similar, similar to that. You have this gift, you have this blessing, but you have to open yourself up to it. And, you, and you've been getting a lot of intuitive guidance and synchronicities and signs and things that are trying to propel you forward, but you still don't feel you have the clarity to make the decision. They're saying there is some of you, it's because you're not trusting your heart. You're being too logical. And they're saying that that's because of fear that you're being too logical for some of you. So they're saying that you've come into your own, you've grown, you've developed, you've evolved, you've, you're getting a ton of intuitive information. This is completely about love because they keep bringing it to the heart center. They're, they're saying, you know, you've healed your heart. When you think of it like fertility, you, you've prepared your womb to give birth to this, um, this, to this love. They're saying it's, it's definitely love. You've got yin yang, masculine, feminine. It's, it's a divine love, perfectly balanced perfect compliments of each other. For some, a, a divine love. And you've got angels, feminine angel, masculine angel. So for some, it's a twin flame situation. You've got to light both of your hearts on fire as well as the others around you. But you're fearful of making that decision. Now, why do they keep bringing up the seeds? Because in this card, the way he writes it, he talks about how, you know, you plant these seeds, seeds and if you nurture them and take care of them, they'll grow and they'll, they'll bloom and, you know, become fertile and becomes, you know, this beautiful tree. But some of you haven't nurtured this tree. You haven't nurtured them. And, and um, you think the opportunity is lost, but it's not. Okay, because they're saying for some of you, you've got all these clouds. So for some of you, everyone in this situation, you, you need to make a decision. And they're giving you obnoxious over-the-top signs to get you to make a decision. Some of you aren't making the decision because you're fearful of, of being hurt again. Some of you are not making the decision because you're fearful that you have um, ruined your chances with this person. Now, they want me to actually read part of the book. I know, I'm trying to not have this be as long as last week. Sorry, folks, I don't think we're going to have any luck. Okay, Dragon's Lair. You are always protected and divinely directed. You have a remarkable internal warning system that lets you know when things are out of alignment. You're about to enter dangerous territory, so tread carefully and be aware of your surroundings. The path you're on now is one that will challenge you to the core. That said, peril is also exciting and exhilarating, like the danger you feel before you enter a new relationship, knowing that you'll be changed forever. A life, truly, a life lived fully isn't lived only in safety. A new experience is calling to you, one that will test your courage. The choice is yours, but there is greater value in risk taking than remaining unchallenged. New territories are waiting to be discovered. So they're encouraging you to overcome that fear, overcome that worry, overcome that doubt, and and make that decision. You see how they fit together like a, like a, like a key? I don't know how well you guys can see. Let me see if I can hold that up. Let's see if it'll zoom in at all. 
you see how you've got the feminine angel, the masculine angel, they fit together perfectly. Like when a key fits in a hole. This person's the key to your happiness. You just need to not be fearful and take that leap. Because they're saying that there have been so many synchronicities. And, and, and you've been through a lot of experiences lately that have been preparing you for this. So, so when we look at the synchronicity, you've, you've had all these things changing, all these, all these signs. Like if you read the bottom of it, it says, Thank you, angels. I trust your well-timed guidance and signs. So you've had all these experiences, you've gone through all these things, had all these changes, heart healing, letting things go, letting things go that you didn't plan for letting go, but it's all been preparing you for this. And when you look at things, they're saying you've had a ton of synchronicities and you still, because of not wanting to make the decision, you're like, oh no, that's a coincidence, but, but it's not a coincidence. Um, everything's perfectly timed by God. So the angels, they've been giving you all this divine guidance. Um, they've been giving it to you through information people have shared with you. They've been giving it to you through friends. They've been giving it to you through signs and synchronicities. And, and the, the guidance, the, the intuitive information, because you know the Empress, she's very powerful. <laughs> she's very intuitive. You've gotten all this intuitive information trying to lead you onto that path, trying to get you to take the steps forward to be where you need to be, to be who, who you're meant to be with. And it's not been a, a chance. It's not been um, something that's just been a random coincidence. Because they're saying, if you look back at this situation, you will see, and for most of you, they're saying this is definitely love. And they're saying, those of you in the situation, you already know the person. So it's love with someone you already know because you've already planted the seeds with them. You've had all these synchronicities, all these signs, all these coincidences. But out of being fearful of making the decision, you've really not heeded much to those signs, synchronicities. You've allowed yourself to not have the clarity. They've tried to give you the clarity, but you've um, allowed your perception to remain clouded. They have all these clouds in here because you just keep brushing it off. Like, oh, that was just a coincidence. Oh, that was, you know, just, you know, something that that wasn't a sign. You keep ignoring it. But but there are no coincidences. There are only, you know, God instances. So, you know, God and angels, they're trying to give you signs. They are trying to get you to where you're meant to be. They're bombarding you with all these synchronistic events and signs and everything that's occurring for you right now because they're trying to give you the clarity that you need. They're trying to get these clouds removed so you can move forward because it does feel the same for many of you it feels like something you're afraid you're going to get hurt again you're afraid that the risk is too much you you've been hurt before you've um, been deceived before you're terrified of reliving that so you're not making a decision and they've given you all the clarity but you've chosen to stay locked in um, locked in not knowing locked in not making a decision but they're trying to get you to do that because this person they are your uh, they are your other half. They are the person you're meant to be with. They're trying angels God angels are trying to clear these clouds get to get you clarity to get you to take that step to bring you happiness. But but you're gonna have to you're gonna have to trust and take that risk. But they're trying to they're trying to tell you that there's there's not any risk actually at all involved. Because for those of you that are in a situation, there are so many signs, I mean so many glaring, undeniable signs that this is the person you're meant to be with. That that's God and the angels trying to assure you that this this is guaranteed success. You just need to uh, make a decision. Now let's let's pull some bluebirds. Okay. First one we have is clover and it says flowers surmounted on clover leaf means happiness surmounted over grief. Bits of luck and fortune await. You have the potential to make life great. And then we have heart. The heart is a symbol of fulfillment and joy. Romance is in full bloom for you to enjoy. Serenity rests deep in thy heart. Loving yourself is where it should start. It's definitely love. <laughs> definitely all love. I, even this heart locket, is it's a heart. Um, so for those of you in other situations, this, this is not uh, going to be applicable to that. Then we have the key. Inspiration unlocks the door. Solutions are the key to success and more. Miracles and insight are easy to trace once the final piece tumbles into place. <clears throat> That's funny. 
<laughs> like they did up there, they said flip over the deck and see what's on the bottom. Clouds, <laughs> clouds brightly shine, strung in precision. Life will be fine with firm decision. Beware of clouds, misty and obscure. Life cloaked in darkness is hard to endure. So you're staying in this painful dark place, ignoring all this intuitive information that you're getting that's trying to get you to make a decision about the love of a lifetime that you're meant to be with. That person is the key to your happiness. They're saying, um, you've had a lot of grief, you've had a lot of sadness, you've had a lot of bad luck and love, which is what hurt your heart, which is why you had to heal your heart. It was not an easy thing to do. They are commending you on that. But now you have this love of a lifetime. They are the key to your happiness. But you have to make the decision to unlock that and move forward and trust those signs. Because they're saying they've been giving you all those signs and clarity to remove that, that, th that fear. They're saying that, th that some of you have this fear of losing it all again. Not just having your heart hurt, but financially. They're saying some of you have just invested so much in love in the past and it's got, gotten hurt so badly that despite all these signs, um, you haven't made a decision. So the key is to make a decision because that person is the key to, the, to your happiness. And for those of you in this situation, and they're same with most of the others, you, you know who the person is um, and you know that it's for you. Hopefully it helps. I do hope that this helps all of you filled with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.